That affordable and widely available painkiller may help reduce the risk of death and serious illness from COVID-19, according to a new study. Maddie Gaither has a look at the data in today's Health Minute. It's one of the most common over-the-counter painkillers, and low-dose aspirin may also help COVID-19 patients survive, according to new research. It's a huge win for those uh, looking to reduce uh, some of the risk from uh, some of the most devastating effects of COVID-19. Dr. Jonathan Chow is lead author of the study published in the journal Anesthesia and Analgesia. He and a team from George Washington School of Medicine and Health Sciences study the records of more than 400 patients admitted to several U.S. hospitals between March and July of 2020. Almost a quarter of them were already taking aspirin at home or were given aspirin in the first 24 hours after admission. There was over a 40% reduction in the risk of needing to be admitted to a critical care unit. Um, there was a 44% reduction in the need for a mechanical ventilator. And then uh, quite importantly, there was a 47% reduction in, uh, in hospital deaths. Dr. Chow says many patients with severe COVID-19 had complications related to blood clots, which could be helped with aspirin. So we started uh, looking to see if these patients were on aspirin and if they weren't on aspirin and if uh, there was no um, contraindication to using aspirin, we started uh, administering aspirin to patients uh, in the COVID-19 unit. He says the team has now partnered with the National Institutes of Health to study aspirin's effect on a larger group of COVID-19 patients. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.